On Thursday, James Martin hopped onto Instagram, revealing that the restaurant had logged a whopping 16,000 people on its waiting list. The 49-year-old was dressed in his catering uniform as he shared some exciting news with his 673,000 followers. This place is packed tonight, he said. Unbelievable, we got about 16,000 on the waiting list for just these tables in here. So, if you are in tonight, I shall see you later. If you're not in, he'll see you at the next one. The Home Comforts cookbook author also revealed that he has officially partnered with Just Eat across all of their branches for his new business Spudger Like. He continued, just to let you know, Spudger Like, that's the business I got involved in just before Christmas, where we launched all the sites. Good news is, you can get Spudger Like on Just Eat. He concluded, so, if you can't get to us on the site, log on, and you can get it delivered to your house. It's been a busy few months for James, who has not only juggled his time between his restaurants and regular TV appearances on ITV, but also released his cookbook Butter. Ahead of its release in October, he thanked his fans for their support as he claimed that the anticipation for the dairy-based book filled with over 200 recipes had been much higher than any of his previous issues. Just to let you know that we've had a delivery of these, James said in a clip posted to his Instagram. My brand new book, Butter, the publishers are really excited. We've had, actually. More people phone up for interviews for this book than any book I've ever written. Which says a lot, doesn't it really? In a world where people apparently don't eat butter. His comments appeared to be a slight dig at those who criticized James about the profuse amount of dairy-based recipes. Some stressed that because they don't eat dairy, buying the book would be pointless to them as much as they've supported his cookbooks in the past. Can you do recipes for those of us who hate butter? Hashtag please, a twig and golfer said. James returned to his Sunday morning show on ITV in December following a six-week hiatus from the program. He had also been absent from his recurring appearances on This Morning. Though James never spoke on his abrupt absence from the broadcaster, fans assumed the Yorkshire-born chef was either too occupied with other work or just needed some time to recoup his energy following what appeared to have been a very successful year.